significant because it takes place in September. That's closer to the race for the Cup. Yeah, but as Angela was just pointing out, <laughs> That you could have 90 degree temperatures in September. We can have still be 90. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that can be. Yeah. But you're probably more likely to have ho hopefully seasonable temperatures in September sure. than you would be in July, right? <laughs> yep. Yes. So we'll see. And you know what? We are proud to be the official weather partner of the yeah. Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So we'll be keeping them updated mm -hmm. on the heat. Mm -hmm. And probably they'll be looking at live Doppler 13 later because most likely we'll be dodging some storm chances too for race day on Sunday. Right now over the city of Indianapolis, we'll call it partly cloudy. It's hazy. It's hot. It's humid. 86 degrees in Indianapolis. But the more important number here is that dew point sitting at 70. The high temperatures will continue to climb. Those dew point numbers will continue to climb. It's going to continue to be uncomfortable the next several days. When we factor in the high heat, high humidity, this is what it feels like. Feels like 94 in Muncie. Feels like 92 in Columbus. Feels like 100 in Bedford and feels like 97 right now in Fowler. Definitely take precautions from the heat. Your family, your friends, your pets all going to need some extra attention over the next couple of days. This is Live Doppler 13 Radar. We're starting to detect a few pop-up showers in our eastern viewing area. So we're east of Interstate 69 between Muncie and Parker City. This one traveling southeast across the eastern sections of Delaware County. We have another one across the eastern part of Henry County. This one between Newcastle and Hagerstown, again, tracking to the south and east. We have a few spotty showers and thunderstorms developing just across the state line as well, and a big complex of storms across the southern sections of Minnesota and the northern parts of Iowa. We technically made it to 88 degrees and officially missed 90 so far in Indianapolis, but we don't have to go too far away to find the 90-degree heat. 90 in Champaign, 94 in Springfield, and it's triple-digit heat. Not a feels-like temperature temperature, but an actual air temperature of 101 in St. Louis, and that's the reason for the excessive heat warning. The heat advisories come into the southwestern part of our state, and a new severe thunderstorm watch just on the north side of the hot dome of air, and that's where we find the risk for severe weather, not only tonight, but as we head into the day on Thursday. This will include the northern half of our state, so we'll be monitoring the thunderstorm development closely. Tomorrow looks like the best chance will be across northern Indiana. We will focus on the heat and humidity. We're going to be in the 80s by lunchtime tomorrow and forecasting highs in the low to mid 90s. We'll call for 92 in Indianapolis, 93 Greencastle, 91 in Richmond. We stay hazy, hot, and humid through Friday as our storm chances begin to increase toward the end of the work week. You can see with future track 13, the axis for these storms get a little closer to central Indiana Friday, Friday night, and into the weekend. So we will keep storm chances, heat, and humidity in the forecast all the way through Sunday. High temperatures the next four days, upper 80s, low 90s, but it will feel at times like 100 plus, including for the Brickyard 400 on Sunday. Looks like we get a little bit of a break from this heat and humidity, but not until early next week.